So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use Astra Pro Sticky Header. Astra Pro Sticky Header adds another new features that I'm gonna show you, which is blur features. It's really uh, a great addition. I really like this feature. So let me show you how you can use this. So we have created this website, but there is no sticky header inside our website. Let's navigate to Astra Dashboard first. From here, Astra Dashboard. And you scroll down, you can see there is a sticky header already enabled. Right? Now to enable the sticky header from the customizer, you have to navigate to Customize. And just navigate to Header Builder. Scroll down and here you can see sticky header. From here, there are a couple of other features that you have to understand how the sticky header works. When I click or navigate to the sticky header options, you can see stick above header. Basically, you can stick only the above header. Stick primary header, stick primary header, which is allow you to stick only the primary header and the below header. So as you can see, there is three different header. Here is the primary above header. Here is the primary header. And this one is the below header. So you can stick individual header. And also you can stick all the header at the same time. Let's go back to the sticky header area again. And I'm gonna use the primary header because I have only content inside the primary header area. So let's stick or click over here to stick the primary header. When I click over here, you can see you can use different logo for the sticky header. You can change the animation to slide or fade but I like the fade features. And also you can enable the desktop and mobile device. If you want both of them, you can enable desktop and mobile at the same time together. So that's it. Click publish and reload the page. So now as you can see, the stick header looks like this. Well, so right now there is another option. So hide when scroll down. So sometimes when we scroll down, we do not want to display the sticky header, but when the user want to navigate to the top, then it will be visible. Let me show you how it looks like. So I have already saved and published. And as you can see, when I scroll down, there is no sticky header, but when I scroll up, the header is visible right that's really great and that's amazing features so in our next part i'll be showing you how to use transparent header but there is a couple of things when you're using sticky header and click on the primary header then go to design you can see there is additional section called sticky header option Basically, it's all about the sticky header. When you click over here to background color, you can change the background color, but I'm not gonna change it. But the most interesting thing that I have shared at the beginning in this video, which is background blur. So if I hover over, you can see the background blur is dependent on the background color opacity. So you can simply click over here to enable the blur or the sticky header blur features so as you can see when i click or sticky the blur is not available yet let's make it publish and view the front page here okay so now i have to navigate to header design and here you can change the background opacity and as you can see it's displaying the blur item so this is exactly what i wanted to show you how it looks like and i think it will be also working when i'm using the same features that i have disabled right now let's enable this one and technically it should work yes it's working so you can also change the menu color you can also change the other color so when i select menu or i can select any widget from here let's select account card or menu whatever item you want 
if you just scroll down from the design tab you will be able to see sticky header options basically when i scroll down the sticky header menu looks like this but if i want to add a different color let's add this color and let's add white color here and it's white now i can change the logo color not color i can change the logo basically here as well there are lots of things just play around with here with a sticky header and the options that coming with the sticky header features so in our next part i'll be creating mega menu using the astra that's all for today thank you so much